In this video, I'm gonna show you how to rebuild one of these for one of these. All right, I have a flathead fuel pump here. I got a fuel pump rebuild kit for it. It's got the little check valves and the screen and different things. It's got the diaphragm in here for it. But anyways, these check valves right here, when I took this thing apart, got the diaphragm out, the check valves look, they look pressed in. I mean, they, they are, they don't look like what I imagined. And there are some videos on YouTube that show how to do the fuel pump rebuild, but they, none of them show you how to take these check valves out. There's a couple of videos that the guys just pop the check valves. They just fall out and they just plop new ones right in. There's another one, the Eastwood one. The, he does a really good video on the rebuild, but they don't show how to do the check valves. So anyways, these check valves here are seriously stuck. A 7 16 bolt will fit. Once you dig that out with a screwdriver, I've been sitting here digging out pieces, you know, trying to, almost gave up. I almost thought, well, they're just pressed in or this is just like a throwaway pump with non-replaceable valves. Um, anyways, this thing fits in there really nicely, this 7 16 And then I just took a pickle fork Popped it, pops right out nicely. So now I've got to do this other one. I'm sure it's going to be a pain as well. So I've got this screwed in. I don't have it in as far as I would like. It's actually spinning in there. Got it right out. Anyways, I, th I thought that may be helpful to some other people because this would have been helpful to me. All right, I have got this fuel pump in a can of carburetor cleaner. This is a fuel pump off of a 51 Ford flathead. It was really gunked up inside had a lot of really calcified deposits in it, so I wanted to let it sit overnight inside this cleaner, let it get good and clean. Put this thing back together here. Here's the part number. It's a Napco 11A-9349. That's the fuel pump um, repair kit or the rebuild kit. I think first what I'm going to do is stick these valves back in. It comes with two valves. This is a 14 millimeter socket. This valve fits perfectly in there with a little bit of tension, just enough to to hold it in there so I can push it and do whatever I gotta do. Here's the gasket right here, so. And pushing this in and it's perfectly in there I'm 
and the other one goes the other way. It lets the fuel come in here, out here, through the screen, back down in that hole, out here, and then in this other valve, and then out here. That's the, the flow that it takes. It would definitely not be good to put these in the wrong way. First, it wouldn't work. And two, it'd be tough to get them out, I think, without destroying it. I think they're in there pretty good. They feel flush. Both of them have the gaskets in there, so I think that that's uh, I think that was successful there. So here's the parts we got. We have the arm here with a little pin. Have a new diaphragm. Have the cork gasket for the sediment bowl. A new gasket, which I'm not going to worry about now. And then we've got the screen. So this screen goes right here, just like that. And then this gasket will go here when, we, when it comes to the time. I think now it's going to fall off. I'm not going to worry about it. But most important part is getting this in there, I think. So this is two pieces here. You can see there. But it's got it lined up properly. Well, it was lined up properly. See how well it stays. So this will go right in here. At the same time, this pin has to slide. Actually, I probably Push this pin in a little bit at first. Neither end of this is beveled, so. So now I've got the pin going through half of the, the housing here, and it's all the way through both pieces of the arm. Now I've got to get it to where it comes out of the other side of the housing, so it's all the way through. So now the pin is through, all the way through. It's flush on both sides. It's a very tight fit. Before I forget, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on it there. So next up would be the spring here and this diaphragm. And again, this little hole here has to catch that hook inside there. So I think doing it like this, turning it over and letting that little hook drop down.
Got it. So here you can kind of see how the pump actuates. I've got it marked right here. And right here, that was the clocking. That's how it was clocked originally. You can clock it however you want. If you, however you want to set it up according to whatever your engine, the fuel in, inlet and the fuel outlet is on your engine, you can set it up however you want. I'm not tightening these yet, I'm just kind of getting them down to where the pieces are together, holding the diaphragm securely. Kind of keep looking around like, what did I miss here? It's, it's pretty easy. I mean, it's a little bit difficult, some of the tasks putting it back together with only two hands, but. It's actually very few parts. I will tell you this, I bought a brand new replacement pump the other day. I've already returned it. I bought two, bought one from Speedway, returned it because this piece here, are they are terrible on the carters. Um, it's just basically they make this piece, they put it on there and press it on there and it is terrible. This is a really good high quality. This one here is actually an original that I took off of here. It's a little bit out of shape, but it's really sturdy, really, really good. But the other one, I'm telling you, I don't think that it would have lasted. I think that that thing would have ended up inside of the, the engine itself. It wouldn't have stayed on. This one's ain't really good here. I, I would not put an aftermarket on my engine based on what I saw recently. Had that pump from Speedway, returned it, went to O'Reilly's, bought another one just hoping it would be different. And it was identical, exact same problem. So anyways, that's what made me decide to get a rebuild kit. This is a 51 specifically. It has the 1 8 MPT, 1 8 pipe inlet and outlet. All right, I've got the screws snugged up, and then we've got this little return spring here that goes on here. They include one in the kit. That's it. And then we've got this piece. I cleaned up this piece as well. This one I noticed has a short little canister fuel thing on it. Other ones I've seen have bigger, and my other flatheads both have a much bigger glass canister, but it doesn't matter. We've got the gasket, little cork gasket, bowl gasket on there. Tightening that up. Cleaned up pretty nicely. I didn't spend a lot of time on it because it's this is good enough for me. I, I think it looks fine. But anyways, that's how it turned out. I hope that this video is helpful. I just didn't. I did not see a complete video on YouTube, so I wanted to do this. Um, Taking those valves out was something that was omitted by others that have posted this this same type of build video. Anyways, I hope it was helpful. Uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and do all those things. But anyways, thank you very much for watching.